Greetings, everyone. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag73 channel. I have voting video number 232 in the incredible Mandela Effect voting video series. And what is sure to be one of the biggest Mandela Effects thus far in 2018. And they begin by digging into those <coughs> In every Kellogg's pack <coughs> We'll keep them coming back to those <coughs> To pump juicy raisins in Kellogg's Raisin Bran Does anyone remember sunglasses on the sun? Well, I got some interesting reality residue here, and I have not been able to find either a box of cereal or a commercial from the 80s or 90s where the sun is wearing sunglasses like I clearly remember. I have a very clear image of the sun having sunglasses on. It seems like I also remember a commercial where a little girl was asking the sun why he had the glasses on. Um, that's not a real clear memory, but it, I have a vague memory of that. So just... If you look through, I just can't find anything where it's wearing sunglasses. So now we have Raisin Bran, where the sun has lost his sunglasses. And we also have Risky Business, where the sunglasses are no longer in the dance scene. So there's something going on here. <laughs> Thumb this video up if you remember the sun wearing sunglasses, because it was so bright. He had to wear sunglasses when he's making all the raisins. And go ahead and thumb it down if the son never had sunglasses on for you. Now, this is Family Guy. You know, the Simpsons and Family Guy a lot of time match our memories with these Mandela effects, with this phenomenon. And they depicted the son with sunglasses here. I found this artist rendition of Raisin Brand Sun and Poseidon. And you can see the raisins, the two scoops. And the sunglasses, just like I remember. Here's new Kellogg's Raisin Brand Sun Two Scoops Vinyl Sticker Decal with the sunglasses. So here's a bunch of suns with sunglasses. Maybe you'll see one that jogs your memory. Maybe something like this. I, this one is really weird. I, I, I thought for sure I was going to find a commercial and something to say, oh, this is where it came from. This is why I remember the sunglasses, but I can't. So if any of you can find a commercial or a box and say, hey, here it is. This is what your memory is. I'll take this video down. I don't want this video up if, if, you know, if there's even at least one commercial where he's wearing sunglasses. I'll take it down. So um, this is not about trying to you know, make something that, that's not there, but this is clearly a Mandela effect for me, and I'm sure a lot of you are going to experience this Mandela effect. Not everyone. Uh, as we know, not everyone's experiencing the same Mandela effects, but this is going to be a big one. I think a lot of people are going to experience this one. Now, I have some really cool reality residue here, so don't go away. I have a book. I failed to miss your point. Question number 58 in the book is why does the sun on Raisin Bran cereal box wear sunglasses? All right, right there in the book. And then we have a Yahoo answers. Why is the sun wearing sunglasses on the Raisin Bran cereal box? And we have 26 answers. Not a single person says he's not wearing sunglasses. They all had their own little clever answer, but I mean, this is really bizarre. This is from over a decade ago, like 2007, I think. Because eating Raisin Bran cereal with Brighten Your Day, I think they meant will brighten your day, to protect himself from the moon. Because it's real sunny, and according to their original ad campaign, the sun is the secret ingredient that makes their raisins taste so good. Wow, it took five minutes to understand, eh, whatever. To block harmful UV rays, to have to look cool in your box. It's only full of flakes and raisins. <laughs> the sun may have had a hangover because he's a badass. He's too hot and sexy for the cereal box. They're not sunglasses, they're moon glasses. So I haven't clicked over here, so let's see what we got. Because eating Raisin Bran cereal will brighten your day. The future's so bright, he has to wear shades. Life's so bright, he's got to wear shades. Because he's super cool. Why are Captain, Captain Crunches, eyebrows on top of his hat? Okay, might have to go check that out. Um, because his future's so bright. Haha, -ha, I was wondering the same thing. 
Okay, well, where's that box at? Because it wants to? <laughs> I mean, this is just totally bizarre. Totally bizarre, just like so many of the Mandela effects. Best answer, because eating Raisin Bran cereal brighten your day. Uh, those are solar flares. I don't know, probably to look cool. That's a very good point. To protect his eyes. So it won't blind itself. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it everyone. I'm working on a, a video with higher quality video production, uh, which is taking a long time. That's why a lot of these, I, you don't see me making them like some of the other people. I just, these are one takes. I just do the video and upload it all within like 15 minutes because I do so much research. I spend so much time on research. I can't spend five hours or you know even two or three hours editing a video. So they just go straight up. But I'm putting together something. You know, I've done higher. If you go to my video channel page, it'll say producers recommended videos. Now I've done some higher quality video editing with music and everything. You know, things about what I think is going on with the Mandela effect. So you can go and, and look for those. I'm thinking of doing something. I watched something last night by Matt. I, he has a new channel. He used to be Texas Shrugged, and I can't remember the new channel's name. Conscious something. I don't remember. So he did a video talking about 9-11 and Mind Calendar, uh, the shift of the ages from the age of Aquarius, or into the age of Aquarius, uh, from the age of Pisces, and I've talked about all that stuff, and I think there's definitely a connection. There's A shift happened. Uh, something 2012, I think, definitely is related to all this. I don't talk about all that so much, but I definitely think, so I'm thinking maybe I should do some research and come up with something. Now, after two years of researching this, maybe I'll have a different perspective on things because I talked a lot about the shift to the ages, which, by the way, I know a lot of people like to say that you know it's new agey there's nothing new agey about the shift of the ages it's been going on every 2160 years for who knows how many millions of years it's it's uh we go through the zodiac the zoo in the sky every 2160 years we go through a new sign and there's a shift i believe it's a consciousness shift that's why in 2011 i was talking about the coming consciousness shift in humanity and i feel that that's what this is. That's what I was hit with in March of 2016 was that shift. Just incredible that I knew something was going to happen and then boom. <laughs> so that's why I've always thought this was a consciousness shift. However, with the reality residue, it seems like there might have been like there might have been something different than went on rather than just shifting once. I think we're constantly shifting all the time, but there's I think it's more complicated than, than a lot of us could even imagine. But um, very interesting times, everyone. I will hopefully get that other video done soon. Go create the reality that you want.